Today, we'll be taking what is probably the most unique train in Indonesia, a rail bus service which travels through both beautiful countryside and city centre roads all on the same trip. So let's go and check it out together. Hello and welcome to Wanagiri, a town of 88,000 people in central Java. Java is Indonesia's and indeed the world's most populated island with some 148 million people. The unique train we'll be taking today connects Wanagiri to Surakarta, the royal historic capital of Java which is known locally nowadays as Solo City. Our journey starts at the small station here, which is nothing more than a one-window staff ticket office, a small waiting room and a couple of security guards. But then, it doesn't need much as there are only two return services per day on this one route. There is plenty of free electricity here as well. The inbound service arrives around 15 minutes before our scheduled departure. We would have caught the train out here, however it was fully booked with a school trip party. The train in question is a three-car diesel rail bus operated by KAI or Indonesian Railways. The service is named Batara Kresna, or the BK line to locals. Boarding is by way of these small steps up to the coach. No level boarding is available. All seating is in airline style and is in a 2 plus 2 configuration. I love what they've done with the outside of the station too. Some simple plants and decoration makes it look really great. Before we get going, just a quick check of the prohibited items to make sure I'm in compliance. No snakes, durian, guns, knives, drugs or lying down. Check. The doors are closing so now let's check out our route. We depart on time at 12 o'clock. Our route is just 37 kilometers today and is scheduled to take 1 hour and 45 minutes of travel time arriving at 1.45 p.m. The cost of the ticket on this train is a quite unbelievable 4,000 Indonesian rupiah. It's the cheapest mainline train ticket I've ever bought. The track on this line is Cape Gauge, or 1067mm between the rails, as is all the legacy network in Indonesia, and there's some fabulous semaphore signals too. The majority of the line is single track, with some strategic passing places, not that they're required. OK, let's move back to the rear coach where it's a bit quieter and go and check out the seats. There's no hiding the fact that they're just plastic moulded seats, but they do have a nice natural angle to them and padding on both the bum and back. The legroom is good, obviously on these seats by the doors, but even on the normal seats.
Luggage can be stored on the plentiful overhead racks and scrolling digital displays show upcoming stops and service information. There are no toilets, power sockets, Wi-Fi or catering on board. While it may not be the most scenic route in the country, there's still some nice train window views to be seen. We make a few stops in small towns and villages along the way, like here in Sukuhajo, which has a population of just 8,000. From the looks of the passengers on board, this service mainly serves older people off to do some shopping in the bigger towns, or kids heading to or from school. If you want ad-free, early access to every video, great perks and to help me do bigger and better reviews, then become a channel member from just £1.99 per month. Just click the link above now, or the join button in every video. Thank you! Did you know that this rail bus was actually built locally in Indonesia? and it certainly isn't fast with a top speed of just 30 km per hour. When you consider the whole 37 km route, our average speed is just 21 km per hour. But it's not about the speed, it's about the journey, right? However, I'll tell you what is about the speed. Indonesia's brand new whoosh high-speed train I was lucky enough to get a ride on board before it even opened to the public, so if you want to see that video, click the link above now. We are now running right next to the houses and streets on the outskirts of Surakarta, or Solo City as it's known locally, and we'll make one final stop before we start the on-street running. Solakota Station serves the people to the east of the city and is quite a grand affair for its just four trains per day. OK, so now the fun is about to start. The unique thing about this line is the fact that from now until the end of the line we'll run along the street with all other traffic. Not just next to it, but actually in one of the traffic lanes. It's quite something to experience. While it is not unique in the world, it just feels, I don't know, a bit more dangerous here? It even runs right past the front door of our hotel, the Royal Surakarta Heritage. By the way, I can recommend this 5 star hotel highly and it only costs around 30 euros per night. Ok, so to summarise today's trip. Well, it was never about the speed or comfort, of which there was very little of each. But for a really cheap, authentic railway experience, I had an absolute blast. If you're in solo and have some free time, then why not check it out? By the way, the buses between Solo and Wanagiri cost about double the price of the train, but they do take half the time. I have to say also, all the cars and bikes were very well behaved around the train, and I didn't see any near misses. The driver certainly wasn't afraid to use the horn just in case though. 
I will have many more trips coming up in Indonesia very soon, including the newly launched compartment suite service from Surabaya to Jakarta. If you have any recommendations of trains to try for when I'm back in Indonesia, then leave me a comment below. The final section of this trip we run adjacent to the city's raised BRT stops cut completely across four lanes of traffic which are thankfully being held back by some railway staff. The station is just beyond this crossing. I filmed this arrival shot earlier in the day. Have you been on any interesting rail bus trips before? Which route did you do and how did you find it? Let me know in the comments below. By the way, I'm always open to new video ideas, so send me a DM on Instagram or Twitter if there's anything you really want to see on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe as I publish a new review every Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.